We have with us Amadmi Party leader Mr. Raghav Chadda here with us, and we'll speak to him more on why, what's the problem the opposition has with the farm bills that the government has brought. Sir, we'd like to know from you. Um, what is your main demands now that the government continues with its stand and especially something that you pointed out regarding the way the government is promoting how it has brought these farm bills? So first of all, in uh, today's uh, all English daily is the government of India, the Modi government has given an advertisement uh, in English. They haven't given this advertisement in Hindi. They have given this advertisement in English to make the farmer understand the real intent of this bill, the alleged intent of this bill. Now. Please make me understand that which farmer out of the 62 crore farmer and farm labourers of this country would read this English advertisement with his morning cup of cappuccino? Which farmer is going to read this? This is nothing but a wasteful expenditure to plaster your own face across every English daily and promote your own self, not the interest of the farmer. Having said that, this government which has been unable to pay the salaries and dues of doctors and nurses in the times of this pandemic, this government which has not been able to clear the uh, monthly salaries for more than five months of the MCD Karamcharis is giving advertisements in English newspaper and not in Hindi newspapers running into thousands and thousands of crores. Now, the intent of this government is very clear that they wish to promote their own self and their own image and not uh, the concerns of the farmer. As far as this farm bill is concerned, this farm bill completely destroys the three fundamental pillars on which the entire agrarian sector is based. One of course is the minimum support price which gets completely dislodged. Second is the public distribution system and the third is public procurement. You are essentially trying to convert the farm, farmer as a labourer on his own land and the entire land and the crop and the grains that will originate from that land will be mortgaged to certain rich powerful industrialists of this country. This is, I, I, I won't hesitate in saying this and I say this with a sense of responsibility that these farm bills are nothing but a death warrant of the Indian farmer. Right. So, Mr. Sanjay Singh from your party has been at the forefront of this entire protest even when on Sunday the bill was being passed through voice votes or uh, when it comes to protesting at the Gandhi statue. Um, what is your take against the way these uh, eight MPs have been suspended and the way today even the chairman said that they were the ones who destroyed the decorum of the house and that's why they were suspended. So, it's valid that their suspension was necessary. Well, the one thing that has surely been destroyed over the last few days of uh, the parliament's proceedings is not the decorum of the parliament but the parliamentary convention, parliamentary procedure and pra parliamentary rules. Uh, it has happened for the first time that a member of parliament seeks division of votes and it's not granted. They seek debate on this uh, important critical legislation that is not granted. They wish to send this bill to the select committee for a threadbare discussion uh, and consulting all stakeholders that is not given. And above all, this government throws parliamentary conventions, procedure and norms to the winds and in a very surreptitious manner tries to pass this bill apparently uh, by conducting a voice vote where no voice could be heard and it, I think that ha will go down as a black day in India's parliamentary democracy. And I think what is of far more importance uh, than the conduct of certain MPs of the opposition is the catastrophic impact that these legislations will have on the Indian farmer. I think um, it is, uh, we are digressing from the real issue. The real issue is that uh, this bill, which is a death warrant of the Indian farmer, has been steamrolled in the parliament. And this government, which has essentially become an ordinance driven government, doesn't believe in consulting, forget the stakeholders, including the elected members of the house. And they just want to steamroll this. So I think this is, this is going to go down as a black day in India's parliamentary democracy. Something very, very costly has happened in the parliament. Um, and uh, I have my full sympathies and support. Uh, and of course, wish to express my solidarity with all the MPs who have been suspended. Thank you, sir. Thank you for speaking to us. So that is Mr. Raghav Chadda, Chadda from the Aam Aadmi Party uh, in very strong words saying that the way the parliamentary conduct has been so far from the end of the deputy chairperson, it's been a black day for democracy to carry out voice votings when none of the voices from the opposition can be heard is not fair.
in New Delhi with camera person N Ravi. This is Sukirti Dwedi for NTTV.